Okay, so hello and welcome back to Goo Muddy's Cooling the Bank Notes. It's not too cold today, I think it's about 18 degrees, which is a nice, beautiful temperature in Victoria today. So, today we're talking about, uh, you know, you've been collecting, say, $2 coins. So this is the Cement Mark 40 lease, uh, $2 coin issued in 2009. And the mint is uh, 40,000, which I hope you can see. So, you wanted to get a collection of these two dollar coins, and you've been frustrated because you've entered the ballots, you've gone to coin shops on the websites, and probably your local coin shop, and you've tried to pick up a one of those coins. Um, now there's been quite a few. Uh, people commenting that, oh, they're, they're just sick of coins, they're just uh, over it. And not only these $2 coins, it's also some ancient coin collectors that are going, oh, I'm just selling up the coin hobby is just too hard. Because ancient coins have gone through the roof pretty much. You, like, here we have some cushion coins. Do you, does that turn up? Oh, there you go. So that one, oh no, that's a yet years. So this is an Indian coin. This has a hole in it, which is pretty bad. But these coins are expensive to get in the first place. You would be struggling to pick up one of these 50 bucks. Same cushion coins. So these are around about 1,800 years old. So around about the time of the early Roman emperors. And these ones are also expensive. I happen to pick these up for like, I think, 30 bucks, which I think is a good buy. So, uh, yeah, if you want to buy cushion coins, you really need to be experienced because most coin collectors don't know that they exist. Okay, so you're frustrated with uh, buying coins in your area that you like. So you're going, oh, it's too hard. There's too many people trying to pump and dump stuff because that's basically why the coins have gone up. Uh, for the two dollar coins, because you've got a whole bunch of people just trying to get as many for themselves as they can, then they're gonna double the price and resell them. So that's pumping and dumping. Now, for ancient coins, um, a lot of people with money are actually getting into this and they're buying it. Probably is an investment. So also, they're not probably not trying to pump and dump straight away. They're probably trying to just hold on to a fuse and then dump it somewhere else. But in a lot of cases, that doesn't work because there's been quite a few of the same coin that's been sold you know, consecutively three or four times. And the price goes up and down. So someone buys a fly gun, huh? 20,000 euros and then they have to offload it for like 15,000 so they've lost money in, and you need to factor in inflation I always factor in inflation and that's how our taxes should be as well we need to factor in inflation like if you buy a house then you sell it you need to sell it so you make a, an investment house you make a profit on the actual house and you need to include inflation in that profit because that eats away the value that you can purchase stuff with. Okay, so what? So a lot of people will go, stuff this, I'm getting out of the hobby. I don't like this. I am I'm fed up. That's it. Ah, oh, what could you do? Well, the coin collecting hobby is actually quite large and it consists of quite a lot of coins. So here we have Chinese coins, actually, no, that's uh, Korean coins. So this is a Korean 100, uh, 100 mon, that's right, they call their coins mon. So that's quite a large coin. So this one's cost about 50 to 100 bucks, but they're not that scarce. You can actually quite easily pick one of these up on eBay, and it doesn't seem to be people fighting over them. So if you're going to pick it up for 50 bucks, you're probably going to be selling it for 40 to 60 bucks. Uh, 
just remember all these prices are just average there is a minimum coin price and there is a maximum in which people will pay which goes with everything that's why when you look at coin prices you see a smaller price and a larger price just take the middle part okay so we've got some this is a Fremont also from Korea yes Korea Vietnam Japan issued these Chinese uh, type cash coins and here we have Chinese cash coins this is from Manchu uh, these are can't remember the Empress name anyway we have quite a few so these most of these Chinese coins are actually not expensive so you could instead of well you could still sell up or keep what you actually just keep what you got because they're a nice thing to keep so just I recommend that you probably just keep these until you know the value that these should be selling for you shouldn't just be putting everything as a bulk lot it's going to sell for less if you have time i would sell these individually to get a lot more money that's why people get uncirculated and proof coin sets they break them up sell coins individually because you're going to get more money pretty much even if they're graded okay or you could just move on to collecting something else that you know that you like but is also pretty common you can collect world coins so here we have a greek by drachma a ghana 500 cities a okay fijian two dollar that's a small version and here we have the fijian two dollar the big version they changed it because the small version was actually like the one dollar coin and this is a big one is the current one that they use in circulation so they're actually quite nice and you know you got your danish one krone still legal tender but not used uh, we have a nicaraguan one cordoba and a large hong kong one dollar so basically there's just millions of coins you can actually collect and there is this pebble state school doll it's quite a large silver coin and this one's on from 1790 so oh, so you can actually move your collecting in another way you can look up a certain coin uh some of them will actually be harder to get like those crucial ones they're going to be expensive but they're not hard to get the harder to get ones would be uh, the ones that we already know about you know like the uh 1930 penny stuff like that Amer was it 1909 us one cent coin which these are all low mintage coins but they have a hype about them so they have a fantasy a mythology around them when they've got a mythology around them people seem to want them in their collection or well, a lot of people anyway me personally i, I don't follow that crap it's just um just uh, man-made well pretty much all of this is man-made so anyway we can just change the direction of our collection and we can incorporate things that we have not thought about it before so we what you could do is you could go to numista so this is I reckon the best catalog you can go to here so you got mint they've actually changed it yesterday so you've got mints issues in entity blah 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 but just like issuers and it gives you all the countries and you can actually go through their coins so if we look up let me pick something at random okay Okay, Bhutan. Okay, so you can go to Bhutan. So you can actually have coins and you can have banknotes. So we don't want, just want, no, no, we'll put everything. Okay. 
we put everything in the search and what we come up with is we have a whole range of different coins from Bhutan. So there is one piece are actually easy to get. These deb coins are not too hard to get. Uh, the price has gone up a bit. Now the copper coins are easier to get. The silver coins are probably paying about 50 bucks, but they're not hard to get. So if money is no problem, this is an area you can collect. If money is a problem, you probably just need to cut out the actual high price stuff and just go for the lower price stuff. So we've got a whole bunch of different types of debs. There. So these these ones here with the circle and the thunderbolt quite easy to get. If they have different patterns like here, they're actually a bit harder to get because they're more later feature. But all in all, and this half rupee is not hard to get, probably about five to ten bucks. And then we got the decimal coins. So these ones would just commemorative ones were issued for circulation as far as I know you can click on it and we'll see the mintage after it's loaded and then they 1974 they issued their own coins and a lot of all these you can pick up for by about five dollars and so how much what's a mintage oh, 10,000 definitely not issued for circulation uh so we've got a whole bunch of different types of coins and then you've got banknotes so the 974 banknotes are a bit expensive but the current banknotes are easy to get so you've got different patterns and they're beautiful uh and then so this free nagoltrum is probably worth about i would say 10 to 20 dollars that's what i've seen them sell for Nice no, good, then you got the banknotes. The banknotes are actually not too bad. Current banknotes are okay. And then you get to the commemorative coins. So these are nickel plate steel. The earlier ones are pretty much silver. And 2020, was that issue for circulation or not? I have to look that up. Okay, you got 30, 15 the gold trim. So some of these commemorative coins are harder to get. But if you want to get the whole lot of these, it's like this gold coin from 1979. It's probably going to be ex hard to get because yeah, a thousand. So there is oh, that's 25. Oh, here we go. I'll oh, have it too, but they are expensive. And gold value for this is yeah, 944 dollars Australian. So it's probably about 600 US. Uh, so. That's it. Instead of having the defeatist attitude. Ah, okay. So instead of having a defeatist attitude, maybe we could just alter what we believe and just change the way our collection's going. You can still enjoy a lot of things in coin collecting. Uh, and you can also maybe endeavor to you know, impart it to other people that you come along the way. Now, some people will not be interested in coin collecting. They just won't. Some people go, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, and some people go, yeah, I want to get into coin collecting with you because it's a great hobby. And uh, we can have something to talk about even more. So anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. If you get frustrated, yeah, everyone has been hit at some time in coin collecting uh i would just say instead of so instead of keeping collecting and getting frustrated every time maybe pretty much just change the focus you can get circulating coins of these ones just focus on those ones or you could just change to another type of coin Get changed to another country, another time period. It's just, just, just so many coins out there and banknotes that you're never going to be able to collect them all. So a lot of people just focus on certain areas. Thank you, and uh.